Let's learn how to export an SVG file in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. On my canvas here, you'll see I've got some artwork that I want to export in SVG format for use on the web. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a copy of this Illustrator file by going to File, Save a Copy. In the Images folder, I'm going to save this as export SVG underscore copy as an Illustrator file and then click Save. Press OK. So as you can see now, this has saved a copy of this file at this exact moment, so I can go back to this point and make changes if I want to do any alterations to the original artwork. The next thing I'm going to do is expand all the elements on the artboard. For example, here I have a combination of stroke and fill, here I have a stroke, and here I have text. So I'm going to expand and create outlines for all of these before I then export to SVG. So I'll select this group, go to Object, Expand Appearance, and then Object, Expand, and Expand the Fill and Stroke. The same for the Stroke, select it with the Selection tool, and then Object, Expand Appearance. And finally, I can select the texture, right-click it, and create outlines. So work through all the elements on your artboard and make sure everything is expanded. Once you're ready to export, go to File, Save As. When the Save As window appears, select where you'd like to save the file. I'm gonna put mine in the Images folder. Come down to your Format, and select SVG, don't worry about SVG compressed. And finally, make sure the Use Artboards option is selected. If you don't select this, it will create a bounding box around all the artwork on the canvas, and you won't have the specific dimensions of the file. Once done, press Save. So when saving for SVG, as it's going on the web, the goal is to find this delicate balance between maintaining the quality of the image while also keeping the file size as low as possible. You can play around with these options as much as you want, but for a general rule of thumb, follow these options for a reliable export. Leave your SVG profile as 1.1, that's absolutely fine. Now the reason we created outlines for the fonts is that we don't want live fonts in the SVG image. So if you've expanded all your fonts, then you're good to go, but just in case, or if you've forgotten some, if you come to Convert to Outline, that will make sure all the fonts in your SVG are converted to paths. If you've got bitmap images placed into your SVG, select the Link option under Image Location. From there, you can come to More Options by clicking here. Under CSS Properties, make sure Presentation Attributes is selected. That gives you a flexible option when it comes to editing. As a general rule of thumb, set your decimal places to three. This will give you precise artwork without making the file size too high and make sure your encoding is set to UTF-8. You can leave off all these other options and then once you're happy, press OK. So if I come to my images folder, you can see my export SVG file is here. And if I click it, you can see here the very low file size. However, when you export for artboards, it will add a 0102, etc. at the end of the file name. If you don't want this, you can go back in by simply deleting that 01 off the end of the file name. While you can go back into an SVG file and make changes, it's much better to use the Illustrator file and then export for an SVG, which is why we keep the original Illustrator file and the Illustrator copy as well before we expanded all the artwork. So you can go back and make changes and then move forward with the SVG export. There's how to export SVG using a good rule of thumb and some settings that should give you a reliable output with a very low file size. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I hope you got what you needed from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.